One of the two teenagers convicted of killing a Spanish teacher in Fairfield now wants a new sentence. Willard Miller pleaded guilty to killing teacher Noema Graber in 2021. As KWWL's David Warrington reports, the Iowa Supreme Court heard arguments on a request to be resentenced today. Willard Miller was 16 when he killed Noema Graber, and because of his age, his attorney is arguing that he should not have to serve a minimum of 35 years. On the other hand, the state argues that this crime was premeditated and the sentence fits the crime. Miller was just 16 years old when he and Jeremy Goodell murdered Graber, a Spanish teacher at Fairfield High School. She had been beaten to death with a baseball bat and her body hidden under a tarp in a park. Prosecutors said she was killed over Miller's failing grade in her Spanish class. The two teens entered guilty pleas last year. Miller was sentenced to life in prison with the possibility of parole after 35 years. Today, Ellen Newell, representing Miller, argued that because Miller was a juvenile, he should receive a lighter sentence. There is an inherent presumption, um, both that juveniles are categorically immature, but also that juveniles have a, even those who commit heinous crimes are capable of rehabilitation. I believe this court made clear in majors that it's the state's burden in order to present sufficient evidence or overcome that presumption that a minimum sentence is warranted. On the other hand, Timothy M. Howe, representing the state of Iowa, argued that this was an extreme case with a high level of premeditation and that the sentence was handed down appropriately. That this is an uncommon case, and it's uncommon because it's a case of premeditated murder that was planned for two weeks. They even attempted, planned and attempted to cover up the crime, and when Mr. Miller was beginning to be confronted with it, he started blaming innocent people for it, hoping that it would absolve him of liability. Howe also said that this is not a true mandatory minimum as there is no such thing for juveniles in the state of Iowa. The court had the discretion and decided to impose a minimum of 35 years in this case. And Newell did say there was a lack of expert testimony prior to Miller's sentencing, arguing this should have been required before such a lengthy sentence.